Hey traders, welcome back to Candlestick Patterns video series. And in this video, I'm talking about the bearish engulfing pattern, something I quite like. I don't think it's an amazing pattern that you should pile in full account size into each personally. Maybe you think different. Let me know in the comments below if you have a different approach to it. This is kind of what the candlestick looks like. And let's talk about the theory behind it, who's getting involved, whatever. So the idea here is that it kind of can be anywhere in the trend, if you like. Um, let's, let's talk about later about some areas with the overall trend that I quite like to see it personally. Maybe you can add some thoughts yourself. The idea is that we have a little candle here. Uh, that could be, um, you know, a green candle or whatever it may be. Um, and this here is the second candle. This is the bearish engulfing candle. I'm going to use standard green red color in here and green is denoting that the, the candle has a green body as in the close is higher than the open and red denotes that the close is lower than the open pretty standard kind of stuff you may have them white or black depending on how you've got it so what's the theory of that is that i hope you can see that it's a little bit smaller i should have done it a little bit bigger anyway i'm not going to redo it because i'm going to use that for some little bits in a minute the point is you have a little candle here that's done something it's done nothing the next candle is engulfing it that's why it's called engulfing in other words the high is higher than the high the low is lower than the low it's just swallowing it up it's basically saying listen we tried to go higher we couldn't go higher not only that sellers have come in got aggressive taken it down through the low we've done done all of the yesterday's range volume is there supply is coming in get out the way the bears are in control that's the theory what does it look like intraday let's have a little look at it so if we can say this is day one so we've gone from low to high here. Maybe we've done a little bit of chop around here. And the next day we've opened up, we've gapped up. Maybe we've gapped up here. And that's the whole point of the, the bearish engulfing. In fact, we'll check that on textbook whether they say that you should have the gap up. Yeah, they say that they say that theoretically that the opening price should be above. And it makes sense as well to me. I would have done exactly the same without even knowing what it says there. And the gap, we gap up above the prior high sucking people in you know a gap up above high is really bullish right it's a bullish bullish thing it gets people involved gets people excited you do a little bit of work to the upside and then you undo the gap and as well as you undo the gap you kind of go to lows and you close below the lows so the psychology of it is is that the gap up has sucked in loads of bulls the bears, the, the sellers have got on top of that and said, listen, I still perceive that as value. I'm going to hit it. They've continued to pressurize that stock, that market, that commodity all the way lower. They've taken it through the low of the prior day and they've closed it below the low of the prior day. Now, the theory behind it is that the subsequent days you're going to get follow through. So in fact, do they say anything, an official line of it? Let's look in a second. But how I would do it is I would say, listen, let me take a short there. Let me look for continued follow through. My stop is either going to be above the high of there. If I'm on a swing trading perspective, I'm looking for a further move. Um, depending on the position, I think, of the prior of the prior trend. If you have got a trend that's, let's talk about that, because I think that's very important. If you've got a trend that's been pushing up and then you get this at the top of a trend, that's quite nice because you kind of get that blow. The last little exhaustion is really the gap up, isn't it? You had the push, 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 push. The gap up that immediately gets sold into, that's quite a nice thing to do. Uh, similarly as well, if we had um, a downtrend and it's pulled back into this, then we get that. That might be the signal that you want to get involved ready for the next leg lower. So you've already got a downtrend, you've pulled back, you get a bearish engulfing of the last candle of that, you're selling it at the close of that if you're waiting for the official close, of course. Your stops above the high, which is most likely probably going to be the high of that trend move. And, you know, you're looking for, you know, new lows or continuation of the trend or whatever that is. Also, you could probably use it in conjunction with perhaps a a trend line here if you can kind of work out what i'm trying to do there that would be my more my uptrend candles you might use that and that might give you a little leg in earlier right because you might pre front run the engulfing and many of you are probably saying ah you can't front run candlestick patterns i know i know you're not supposed to do it officially but i'm just kind of throwing some ideas out there um if you did that and kind of expected that to happen with the break of that when you've got your bearish engulfing you could maybe add to it and look for your, your further lows so it makes sense theoretically, doesn't it? In that 
the gap up failed, sucked loads of buyers in. They are the ones fueling the sell side drive and the fresh sellers coming in and the complete change in sentiment. Just undoing the whole of yesterday's work, taking out the highs, taking out the lows, closing at the lows, cementing the fact, drawing the line in the sand saying, we're in control and even better from a volume perspective, you've got volume here, good volume there. That is even going to be better on your side. So that's the bearish engulfing candle. Nice little pattern. Let me know what you think about that. Do you like the bearish engulfing pattern? Do you use it? Do you have a little twist on it or a little different flavor that you use with your trading that works for you? Would love to hear in the comments below your thoughts on that. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for more candlestick patterns, technical strategy, discipline, psychology, anything and everything to hopefully make us better traders. Take care, guys.